the IT industry of India is booming, while the biotech industry of India is also growing. But the question to be asked is, which will pay you more? The next question to be asked is, what if you join the IT field and leave the biotech field? Let's investigate in this video. To start with, very simple question. It's a human behavior. Most people, not you, most people feel that the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. But the truth might be yes, might be no. We don't know yet. We'll investigate in this video. To start with, if I say that IT field will pay you more is not right. And to say that BT field will pay you less is also not wrong. So what's the truth? We will find out. Now, let me give you explanation by showing you a basketball field. Okay, so in a basketball field, there are two types of player. Suppose there is a tall player, so he's, he can easily basket, correct? While there is a shorter player, he cannot basket. So what can he do? He will definitely lose the game. Well, the truth is something else. The shorter guy cannot change his height because it is naturally given to him, but he can move fast okay he can move faster than the taller guy and then he can basket easily because he has moved faster than the taller guy while the taller guy catches up he has enough time to try and basket well let's give you another example have you heard of supersonic aeroplane called as concord now concord right now it's discontinued but when it was one of the most successful passenger planes in the world and it was a supersonic plane so it could travel in two hours other planes will take 12 hours that was the difference okay but it needed a longer runway the same way biotech field requires a longer learning curve so initially when you are on job there's a longer learning curve and that is why initial days you'll get paid less. Well, in IT field, initial days itself, the starting salary will be high. So if you don't give a damn about starting salary, you can always join the biotech sector. Initially, it will be less, but it grows faster than the IT field. Now, coming to the IT field, where it goes right or wrong, you should know. By the time you touch like 10 years into the IT field, you get outdated. The reason being because, of course, you're not from the IT field, you are from the biotech field. So you learned programming, you learned all of that, and then you got into a job there. And then what happens is the other people who are computer science bachelors, masters, they have have a leverage over you and they progress faster, you won't. Your career starts stagnating and that is where many students come back to me and say that, okay, I was a biotechie, I got into the IT field, now my career has stagnated, so I want to come back to the biotech field. So what's the solution? I'm going to give you that. So what if I tell you that you can still be in the biotech field, whatever you studied, that becomes your solid playground, but at the same time, you can be in the IT field also, right? That is where the bio IT revolution of India takes place. Yes, you heard me right. So the bio IT revolution of India, which we call it as a bioinformatics market right now, is at $22 billion and it is growing exponentially. And there are very less players. In fact, a handful of companies are doing this, but a lot of startups are jumping into the bio IT sector. And that means the level playing field is still not there. You can demand whatever salary you want because you have a biotech degree and you are good in the IT skills. Now, mind you, you need some good statistical skills, mathematical skills also, and not just the IT skills, which obviously you can learn over a period of time. It's not that you cannot grab it. Right now, you might be weak in maths, but nothing to worry. But if it is the question where whether you should leave the biotech field for the IT field, the answer is no, you should not. Because after 10 years of being in the IT field, your career will start stagnating and then you'll come back and say, I did a mistake. Instead, you join the bio IT field. You learn bioinformatics, you learn computational biology, you learn artificial intelligence, machine learning, and you do projects. You do research projects, publish papers. Okay. And once you have published those papers, you build a reputation. Then you go and apply in these companies. You get a job. You service the same US clients how IT companies are working, right? They are servicing the US clients. You can also do freelancing also in this. Of course, you can also work in companies. And now that you've done that, your market value keeps going up because you need a biotech degree. You need the IT skills, but the IT guys cannot displace you because you have the biotech degree. And the bio guys cannot displace you because you have the biotech knowledge. So that is where you can grow. Now coming to the timing. Let me ask you a question. If Ola, Uber or such travel companies, taxi companies had come in 1990, do you think they would have failed? The answer is yes. Because the internet itself was not there, right? And even if they would have tried Ola, Uber, Flipkart, Amazon, it would have failed because people didn't trust. Do you think you would be comfortable sitting in a car with a stranger and he's taking you to your destination? I think people in 1990s would have got spooked. But today, we are doing that, right? The same way. Today, right now, the bio-IT revolution is 
going on let me repeat this the bio it revolution is happening right now 10 years from today it will be all done so 10 years later if you try to get into the bio it you will be struggling more just like how you struggle today for the wet lab jobs so this is the right time to get into bio it later on you can't coming to the question which we asked in the beginning of this video which is whether you should go for it field or biotech field my answer would be if you are good in wet lab skills you don't even need to learn bio it you just stick to it you will get there and if you are really getting attracted to it still after watching this video my suggestion is go for it go work in it for a year or two you will know and you will come back and comment here saying that i was right because i interact with a lot of professionals who are in the it field who are in the biotech field and who are in the bio it and i know this fact for sure that there are two ways to do mistakes one is learn from other people mistakes or commit the mistake so choose whatever you want to do you want to do a mistake and then learn from it or you want to learn from other people's mistake choice is yours but before you leave i have a question for you what do you think you should be doing right now what would you choose biotech field bio it field or the it field let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video see you soon in the next one until then keep shining take care of yourself